Hi, I'm Heidi. I'm one of the coaches over in Elk River and I want to talk to you a little bit today about volume eating. Now, I am not as tech savvy as some of the other coaches, so my I won't have a PowerPoint. This is my version of a PowerPoint. The reason I wanted to talk about volume eating is because over the, my check-ins for the uh, midpoint check-ins, there's a lot of people that started talking about still feeling hungry. So even though they were eating their amount of allotted calories for the day, they were still feeling hungry um, throughout the day. Now, if you're eating in a deficit, there's a good chance you're going to feel hungry. And eventually, you know, you kind of get used to that. But if you are eating a lot of really calorie dense foods, you're not going to fill up as fast. And then you'll have a little bit harder of a time feeling satiated or full. So volume eating is basically eating a lot of low calorie, high volume foods. The purpose of it is to like fill up your tummy. All right, who, who can benefit from volume eating? Well, truthfully, anybody can, but people who are eating in a deficit or trying to lose weight, if they're eating in a calorie deficit, and those who are still feeling hungry after eating within their calorie budget. Now, focusing on fruits and vegetables is important for everybody in their diets um, based on trying to live a healthy lifestyle and getting all those essential nutrients that you need out of your food anyway. Why? Why should we eat that way? You feel fuller longer. It can help you manage your calories. Also, guilt-free larger portions. I do not like vegetables and I'm working really hard over this challenge to make sure that I get some kind of a vegetable in every day. Sounds very childish. I have the palate of a five-year-old, but I'm learning that salads aren't so bad and I'm feeling so full right now. We're gonna stop focusing on what good foods are and what bad foods are though, because food isn't inherently good or bad. It is either more uh, calorie dense or nutrient dense. And what I wanna focus on today are the snacks that we have, not necessarily the meals. So if we're looking for some nutrient dense or uh, high volume foods for snacks, we will look at some ideas. Here we go. So what are some low calorie, high volume snack options? So if you're sitting down eating um, a snack and you're watching TV at nighttime and you're looking for something to munch on, for me, that's just literally a habit of that hand to mouth kind of thing. So I love popcorn. Popcorn is a great one. Oats are full, cucumbers, melons, citrus fruits, egg whites, some fish. I mean, that's more of a meal. I'm not sure how many people are munching on fish, but uh, cottage cheese and also legumes. So like the beans and stuff like that, those are all low calorie foods that you can eat a lot of and feel full, like fill up, fill up that belly. Um, now it's uh, the opposite of that is right down here. So high calorie, but low volume foods would be things like nuts, nut butters, like peanut butter, um, candy, oils, dried fruits, avocados, as healthy as they are and all the good fats, they are a high calorie food. So if you're trying to eat within a budget, a calorie budget, you might have to kind of watch how much of that you're taking and tracking can really help with that. And also using a kitchen scale can help with that too. So let's see it. No. Yeah. Okay. Let's see it. So I thought it would be kind of fun to grab a couple of snacks and show what it looks like and how much something looks. So for M&Ms, if I was going to sit down and have a snack and I wanted 50 grams, 250 calories worth of M&Ms. So I'm waiting on my scale. One more. Yeah. There, that's 50. So it doesn't look like too much. Like I could probably fit them all in my hand. I mean, I dropped a couple, but you get the idea. So when you're finished with these M&Ms, it's probably gonna leave you wanting more. You're not necessarily gonna feel full, so it might not be the greatest option. Another idea would be a nut mix or a snack, snack mix. Um, nuts are really good for you. They got a lot of healthy fats in them. Um, and they're not bad to eat. However, if you're eating in a calorie deficit, it's gonna be hard to feel full if you're eating just nuts. So I'm gonna open up this little pack. This is a 200 calorie pack. So it's only 200 calories. Okay, and this is what we're gonna get. Okay, for 200 calories, 43 grams, you're gonna get about this much. You're not gonna feel too full. Again, it's like just in this little pack. It's not a lot. 
So another great snack, but if you're looking for things to help you fill up, this might not be the choice you want when you're sitting down at nighttime. Here's one of my favorite snacks, popcorn. So for 250 calories, which is 50 grams of popcorn, this is what we have. That's 28 grams, so we'll just keep one. 38. Um, so this is not even, okay, that's pretty good. And now I'm just making a mess and I just cleaned my kitchen for you guys. So if we're piling all this onto the scale, all of this. You could eat all of this. Last one, let's talk about cucumbers. So if you love your vegetables and you don't have a palate of a five-year-old and you love eating cucumbers, I want to show you something. 225 calories is 1,500 grams of cucumbers. So start setting them on. This is 230. I had to go to the store and buy all these cucumbers. Let's go. We're at 500, 700, Okay, for real. Okay, this still isn't, this still isn't 225 calories and I did not buy any more cucumbers. So you kind of get the idea. Now, I'm not sure how many people are gonna sit down with five and a half cucumbers as a snack, but knowing that these kinds of things offer a lot of um, nutrients and a lot of vitamins and you can eat a lot of them and stay within a calorie budget. The only other thing I wanted to talk about is that it can be a little bit disordered though. So you can't just sit down and eat a whole bowl for, full of melons for breakfast and a bowl full of popcorn for lunch. That is volume eating. You are eating a lot for very little calories. However, it doesn't fully, uh, fuel your body for the day. So you should focus on a well-balanced diet, focus on how you feel because if you're eliminating entire groups of food, you're uh, probably not gonna feel very great either. So I hope that this makes a little bit of sense. We will end it right here. Have a great day.